Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding editor for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about multiple file uploading. In previous session, we discussed about file uploading and we seen what are the rules and regulations we have to follow while working with files. The same story here also continues guys here, but especially for the input type equal to file, for this input element, we have to add an extra attribute called multiple. By adding this attribute, now we can able to select multiple files. But in the previous session, we can able to select only one file at a time. But by adding this attribute, now we can able to select multiple files. Definitely, when we are working with multiple files, the name of the input control should be an array. We know that an array can hold multiple values in a single variable. For the same reason, we have to take it as an array. If you are not taking this as an array, existing one override with another another override with another finally you are going to get only one file into that array guys sorry into that input field definitely here two things we have to remember one the name field should be an array and one more thing attribute called multiple so by adding this we can able to get the files after submitting the files we have to read them right so here we have a method request of get files in the request object we have a method called get files by using this method we can get all the uploaded files and this method can fetch all the files but yesterday we seen a method in the previous session get file it is not it is a plural there is a singular get file and this is get files this can read all the files but in the previous session that can read only one file at a time let us see how we can work with multiple file uploading go to your editor and let me show you this is the previous one we worked right so let us select a file am i able to select multiple files here let us go to assets here go to images i'm going to select some files i'm i'm pressing control i am not able to select multiple files i'm able to select only one file at a time right so this is not allowing multiple file uploading so we have to allow by adding an attribute called multiple so let us Go to the controller. I already ready with the controller, multi upload controller. This is just I created a form. I, I rendered the view here, multi view. Now let us create a form guys quickly. And form helper is also loaded. I'm just going to this file and let me create the form quickly. So we know that. So here we have to add multi port. Form underscore open underscore multi port is a method. OPEN open underscore multi part so by adding this attribute enc type attribute is going to sorry by adding by using this method we can add enc type attribute a form tag will be created with enc type so definitely it should be form close right then guys now form open and form close now let us check this is there any errors while loading the file so we don't have it is loading yes we don't have any errors now let us create form field the same form field guys yesterday this is the form field we created now also i have to create the same story but the only difference here guys just check this carefully input type equal to file and name should be an array and one more thing here we have to add an attribute called multiple multiple equal to multiple or simply multiple also we can add it no problem so now your form is able to upload multiple files but in the previous one we can upload only one file guys now form is ready once you submit this we have to collect that information go to your controller here i am going to submit the form after submit this we have to get this right rather this of request of post get method get method is post if it is post we will get the data guys always take small letters here so right so now let us see right here we have to read the files what are the files you uploaded we have to get them let us take a variable called files equal to dollar this of request of in the same request of request object we have a method called get files get files plural so now in this we don't want to pass any parameter but if you can see the previous session we have to pass name of the input field in the get file method so here we have file upload there we can see we are passing name of the file but here we don't want to pass anything so it is going to get all the uploaded files let me print them so that we can understand how the files are going to be come to this page let us go in pre tag and just i'm printing the files array so that we will understand and we can write the laws as per that how it is coming in the same manner yes we can let us go and submit the files guys now i'm able to select multiple files definitely go to assets and select some images here 
images now i'm selecting this now you can you see it is allowing you to select multiple files now now i'm submitting can you see i selected four files can you see there is an array of arrays so author of 0 1 2 and 3 this is an array of array now we have to write a for each loop or for loop to iterate this data guys let us write a for each loop to move the files to permanent location so how we can iterate this just i want to take this as an author can you see we will get the data like this now the same four files i'm resubmitting this is array of arrays can you see array array so again we have an object inside of it how we have to use these methods array of array of object so that we will understand how we can iterate this now i'm submitting it again now this is going to be array of object let us iterate this by using for each loop i just written this let us write this for each let me take this as for each as dollar img just i'm taking this as an img now we have to iterate each and everything guys let us remove this pre-tag right each and every image is valid and has not moved then we have to move the file to permanent location so let us write one condition here dollar img is valid and one more thing if image not moved img has mode i mean not mode image is not mode then we have to move the image to permanent location so to move this image we have a method already that this soft move is a method by using this move method we can move the image to permanent location see yesterday we moved the files to our uh, writable folder i mean writable folder there we moved the files into it in the following location if you want you can move this public folder also as yes, we can move but uh, yesterday we written a constant called writable here right right uh, sorry write path constant we written it is giving the writable folder path if you want to move this into public folder write the constant called fc path fc path here it will give you up to your ci4 exam hdoc ci4 here inside of it i have public folder public try to create one folder inside of it uploads that's it guys now image is going to be moved into the following location if image is moved as yes, we can it will the move method will always returns true if the image moved successfully otherwise if is there any problem while moving the image it is going to throw an error so let us write the message dollar img of get error string is a predefined method so this is going to print the message of the reason why the file is not uploaded if you want you can take this into a paragraph tag so that it will be very clear for us while displaying right we can display with some error classes also if you are using bootstrap we can use alert alert danger such a kind of classes we can use here yes if you have any error yes if the file is moved i want to display a message uh, file uploaded successfully just i am going to display this as a files uploaded successfully or upload let me do one thing uh, here i want to get the name of the image dollar img of get name is a predefined method so is moved successfully just i am writing a message like this is moved successfully that's it guys now let us upload three to four files and let us see whether let me check one more thing in my public folder am i have any uploads folder here can you see there is no uploads folder in my public folder and let us see uh, uh, it is going to create guys the folder is not available it is created yesterday also it was created so now let us execute the same program now i am going to select two files let us see whether they are moving or not i am selecting the files yes done now you can submit this upload it can you see oh i have an error guys here what is that error here oh this of move i written here we have to write the image of move go there and write the method as where is the move method this should be e img of move yes we have to take this guys img of move okay let me refresh the page and let me check it now i'm going to select two more files and let us see whether it is uploaded or not
can you see block 2.jpg is more successfully block 3.jpg is more successfully if you want to upload the same files one more time i'm uploading the same files one more time they are not going to override guys actually so they will rename our framework will rename the file if you are uploading the same file again and again so if you want you can go with the get random name also that's we seen yesterday but actually if existing if already image is there with the same name it is going to generate a new name for it guys can you see now how this is going to be generated now i am uploading again can you see this was generated like this underscore 2.1 and uh, underscore i mean 3 underscore 1 has moved like this if you are uploading one more time 2 underscore 2 3 underscore 2 it is going to become like this now let us go to folder and check it so go to your public folder there is an uploads folder can you see now the two files are available in this location this is how multiple file uploading we can do let us do the validation this is also very important phase for us so especially when we are working with multiple file uploading how can we do the validation how can we define the validation rules uh, nothing guys the same yesterday's story what we did how we did the validation rules here the same we are going to take here now take the rules array in this rules array we have to define the validation rules for it yes let me copy the rules quickly in the previous program this is the author the same i am going to copy here and keep it guys validation rules are done but here very important when we are working with multiple file uploading always check this carefully this is your uploaded right so for this specially we have to add dot zero i mean we don't know how many files you are going to be uploaded file one file two file three file four it will be continued automatically and we don't want to do anything guys and each and every file is of the particular extension or not of the size 1024 m 1024 or not in place of this we can write a one more rule also guys if you don't want ext, ext underscore in uh, we can write is underscore image also we can write inside of it just pass the name of the thing so if it is an image okay if it is not an image it is going to throw an error there right so we can write like this also guys we have a one more rule here that is is image but or you can write one more thing called ext underscore in the extensions you want you can allow but this is going to allow all type of images in this situation right done guys now let us apply this method if dollar this of validate is a method pass this rules to this validate method let me write this so where we have to write here so up to here i think yes validation rules these are all so otherwise we have to send dollar dot of validation i mean we have to send the error messages to it right validation is equal to this of validator object we are sending to the view so we can display the error messages there if you have any error in the view so let us copy this list errors here from here let us move this to same view list errors we have already written right so this is what list errors if you have any errors while validating this is going to be validated can you see now when we are uploading multiple files you may upload one image one php file or an sql file maybe it is going to be stopped guys it is not going to be uploaded all the files should be valid images and uh, it is going to be uploaded multiple files also if any file is wrong in the multiple file then it is not allowing us now can you see i'm uploading three two four four images again now you can see i'm submitting yes files are going to be uploaded all files are uploaded to server and one more thing if you want to generate a random name for these images yes we can generate random name also while it is moving so to this path yes here we for this fc path we can generate random name also dollar img of get random name so this method i am directly passing earlier we taken into a variable but now i am directly passing this method now can you see a name is going to be generated for this guys can you see now how this is going to become now i am uploading these images now submit the same if you can submit a new name is coming but it is giving you this something like this but the name of the file uploaded by you is not like this right i want to get the original name but okay let it be move some somewhat whatever it may be and it is moving something like this okay i don't have any problem but while displaying this message i want to display the name of the image original name so for this in place of this get name after the renamed we are getting this name uh in place of this we have get the client name i believe so this is a method let me check this earlier we are getting the renamed file name 
let me check this now i'm going to upload it blog one blog two blog four let us upload the same files and now you can see i think this is but while it is moving it is going to be the some different name we generated to that image right so now you can see different images are going to be available into the uploads folders yes guys this is how we can move the files to server uh, that is nothing but multiple files right let me upload different files here so a php file and some image files so that we will understand how this is going to be work uh, go to downloads i think i have some images i have some here i have image and i have one more image i have registered.sql orders.sql file let me submit them it is not going to allow you guys there is an error author is not a valid uploaded image file so in the maybe two files may be okay but two files are wrong but it is going to stop the entire request if anything wrong in the uploaded files right so this is how the multiple file loading uh, multiple file uploading is going to be work here guys all the files are moved to your server successfully if anything wrong request is going to be stopped and it is going to display the error message there author is not valid upload image file as yes, guys this is all about multiple file uploading thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment on the video section and please subscribe or go php channel thank you all